Hello my gorgeous ones, welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel, I love affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, it's September. How bonkers is that? It got here so fast. So we also have the Ipsy September box. Well, we have a bag and a box. We have the glam bag and then the boxy by Ipsy. So if you want to see what comes in, at least mine, this is a PR one, but it might come in yours too. If you wanna see what I got, get a few of my thoughts on if I think this was a good month or not, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so the little card that came in this month Real cute, it says, find your groove. So yeah, September, find your groove. And this little bag is so cute. I think this is one of their cuter ones. I love the multicolored little fringe here. And this is just a fun, happy design. I don't think that they're leaning into fall yet with September. Maybe they're gonna wait for October for that. I mean, most of September is still considered summer technically. So this is just a fun, bright little bag. And first up, we have the Lumiere de, de Hiver Super Comb Prep and Protect. So this is a, it says help strengthen repair last um, summer's too many weekends in Rio hair. Leave-in conditioner adds detangling for all hair types. So I do use a detangler every time on my hair whenever I wash it and get out. I generally use the um, horse and mane or tail and mane it's got a horse on it anyway <laughs> but I'm really excited to try this because this is supposed to help protect and detangle I don't think I have one that does like multi things like that and this is also makes a lot of sense to put in here because its whole thing is about after summer so that was a smart thing for September Next in here, we have this gloss from Shayna B. We've gotten quite a few Shayna B things before. Honestly, it's all been really good. There's a little duo, eyeshadow duo that I got, and typically I don't keep a lot of eyeshadow duos, but this one was like a charcoal gray matte with a gorgeous like glittery silver. It was really, really pretty. And we've gotten, had glosses in these bags before. This is in Besitos. Now I'm kind of wondering if this is the one that we have. I'm just gonna put this on. Besitos, little kisses. That's what that means, by the way. That feels really, really good. Shayna B Miami is actually the full name. So they are located in Miami. I'm happy to get this because I really enjoy their formulas. Uh, it's not sticky. I think that looks really pretty. And then I've got a little cheat sheet here. I wrote this was, this is $18. So already, that's paid for the bag because the bag is 13 for the glam bag. Next up, we have a liner. This is Doll Paint is, uh, no, that's not the name. Toy Co is the name of the brand. No, it's not. <laughs> Toy Factory is the name of the brand. Um, Doll Paint is the liner name and then it is in brown. Now, I looked this up online and it's weird because I only really saw that these come with a brown one and a black one and the total was $32 or something? No, 16, 32. I think it was 32 and I was like $32 for a liner, but I think it's because it normally comes with two. Ooh, okay, that is smooth as butter. Whoa, okay. And it's like a true brown. It's not like a, a deep like cafe brown or like a deep chocolate. That is like a true brown. Whoa, that was smooth. Okay, so this alone I think is $16 for one. So not bad. And then we have a, ooh, I'm so excited about this crazy coincidence today. So this is Beauty For Real is the brand and I love Beauty For Real. I have their eyeshadow palette that I love. I love their gel liners are so good too. It's called the eye liner, like it's eye dash liner, I believe. And I was on there today for Labor Day sale. I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this, but this is Labor Day weekend. And I saw these liquid shadows on their site today and was curious about them. And then my Ipsy shows up and one is in there. Like it's meant to be. This shade looks gorgeous. It is called Twilight. And I'm so excited to try this because 
This brand is um, marketed towards more mature skin and mature women. So you would think that this liquid shadow would be appropriate for like aging lids. So I'm hoping it doesn't crease. That is stunning. It's this metallic, gorgeous pink. Oh my goodness. You guys should be following me on TikTok um, if you're not, because I think that's where I will probably try this out. I may also do a look for Instagram. So I think I'm definitely going to do a TikTok because I'm excited about this. And that cost $24. Um, the last item in here is from Origins. And unfortunately, I can't use this. I'll just put it in a giveaway or like if I sell something on Mercari, I can throw it in as a bonus. This is the Ginseng Energy Gel Cream with caffeine and niacin niacinamide. We had a bigger one of these one time in either Ipsy or Boxy. And I was like, maybe this is the one vitamin C skincare product that won't break me out. And it gave me cystic acne. So yeah, it is not for me. Um, so I will not be putting this on my face. I'm sure people who can do vitamin C would love it, but I'm not touching it. But you guys, I think this was one of the best glam bags I've seen. I, I think it's really, really good. Um, I only added up the things that were like full size in here and it's $58. And then it costs $13, you know, for the subscription. And then you get those other two little items that weren't full size. So this is a really, I'm impressed with this one, but let's see, am I as impressed with the boxy by Ipsy? Let's see what I got. All right, first up we have Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins, the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. You guys, I opened this up because I was like, ooh, a lotion. And when I opened it up, I saw all these bubbles. And I was like, lotion doesn't have bubbles. I'm so confused. And then I smelt it and it's very like earthy, herbally smelling. So I was so confused and I squirted some out and like, this is liquid and I'm all putting it on my arm. So I looked it up and on Sephora, it says a gel lotion, but on this package, it does not say gel. It just says a lotion, but it is straight up like serum -y, liquidy gel like very liquidy so that's a little bit strange it should it should say that on the outside um this actually costs 73 dollars 73 dollars that's some expensive stuff um but this is supposed to reduce visible redness restores resilience and hydrates um and like i said it's very very liquidy like you can hear it shaking and I read reviews on Sephora. They were pretty good. Um, people say that it really like helps their redness and you know, it's not greasy. So I'm thinking this is something that would be nice maybe to put on after a toner, something like that. It's thinner than like a serum. So I would probably layer like toner than this, than a serum. So I'm excited to try that out. Then we have Aceology. I have tried their eye patches and maybe, maybe like a mask before, but this is the green tea mask. This is $64. That is pricey. So, um, green tea is one of my favorite ingredients, green tea and tea tree oil, anything with tree green and tea and tree and it works really, really, really well on my skin. So um, I'm very excited to try this one out. Let me smell this. I have not smelled this to see if it has that. Does it not have a scent? Oh, it does. Okay, yeah, I definitely smell that green tea in there, which I really like that scent. It's natural, you know, it's not like an added fragrance in there. All right, next we have the Defiance Beauty by Nakami, Nakaimai, <laughs> Nakaimai. It's in, what if it's, N I don't know. It's N-E-C-H-A-M-I. I had never heard of this brand. There are a couple of things this month that I had never heard of the brand. So this is a liquid lipstick in Iconic. And I'm just curious how this is gonna feel. It's very minty. Huh, that's really, it's so minty. I love that. Like, I don't think I've ever tried a liquid lipstick that was minty before. And this is not, oh, it's tingling. 
not in like a hot light, just in a like minty, cool, oh, you guys. Uh, I'm excited about this. It's not drying at all as a liquid lipstick. And a minty feel. Okay. Defiance Beauty. Got my eye on you with that. It's cool. Whoa. That didn't help him. Oh, the things that happened while filming. <laughs> all right. Phase Zero. I think I looked them up one time because I saw something. It kind of looked familiar when I saw their website. But right away when I picked it out, I'm like, I don't really know this brand. So this is a quad. And I was like, a quad in a boxy by Ipsy, I don't love. Like, I feel like a quad could go in the glam bag. I don't love it in boxy. Because if it, if it is a quad, it needs to be luxe, like luxurious. This is, retails for $25.68. So it's a little cheap to be in a boxy. It's a little bit boring in color story. It looks like it could be like a NARS something. When I looked it up online, they had like five, four or five of these quads that were like barely varied in shades, like very like in the kind of deserty neutral territory. But I think I will try this only because I've never tried the brand. If this was a brand that I was already familiar with and it wasn't like, top tier quality i wouldn't touch this quad and i put it in a giveaway but because i've never tried the brand i think i will try it out now the last thing i got is the man eater tart mascara but waterproof i will say this packaging is gorgeous like the blue is stunning now i've tried the regular it's a pretty good mascara the regular one is um let me show you what the wand looks like i love wands like this the plastic little thin little bristles. I will put the, I'm gonna put this back in the cardboard packaging though. This will go in a giveaway. I've got tons of mascaras right now. And then I also wear falsies almost every day. I do look for a good mascara for my lower lash line. This does, I do like the shape of wand for a lower lash line. I just never wear waterproof mascara. The only reason for it is if I'm going to a water park, which now that it's September, that's not gonna happen. So I'm definitely gonna pop this in a giveaway at some point. So that was, oh, so adding those all up, by the way, the mascara is $25. I don't think I said the lipstick was $25. So the total for the Boxy by Ipsy was $212.68, and it's a $28 subscription. That is almost, like $200 worth of free product. Now, but do you need this stuff or do you like this stuff? Like $28 is still $28. And if everything in this box is not something that you would like, you're still throwing away $28. But I think this box was like decent. Um, not great. The lip, I think the best thing was that lip. I mean, I haven't tried the quad yet but the lip was really good. And of course I haven't tried the skincare yet, but I have tons of skincare. I don't think anything is going to completely blow me away. Honestly, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I like the glam bag better this month. I don't think I've ever said that before, but it was, it was pretty good. So that is it, you guys. So you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, which do you think is better? Um, do you think these were even worth the price of the subscription? And as always, have fun shopping. Budget shopping. Bye.